Today is Monday and I started my day off really really slow on Mondays we like to do what I call a soft morning where the kids just kind of wake up they start with a coloring sheet they doing crafts before anything versus like on our regular Tuesday through Fridays we're jumping right into our lesson so we did that this morning I made the kids breakfast and we just took the morning really really slow which was great for me because my cycle I'm on my last day of my cycle and if you know then you know okay so i am finally filling up and ready to get up and get my house together this week is going to be an extremely busy week for us you guys friday is noble's birthday her birthday is october the 13th but we are having her birthday party here at the house on sunday october the 15th so i have to get all the party prep stuff done this week and i figured i would film the entire thing because y'all know i love doing stuff like this i love putting together parties for my babies and planning so that's what's gonna happen and we have a lot to do this week i have to um i want to try to get to the thrift store because i seen the other day they had some halloween costumes and the kids want to dress up for noble's party so we decided to make it like a halloween all-out costume party for the kids and it's gonna be so much fun so i plan on meeting my sister at the thrift store later this week both of my girls have a hair appointment to get their hair braided with my cousin i have to detangle their hair at some point in this vlog both heads okay so pray for me all right that's gonna be a something but i'm glad i don't have to actually do their hair so they're supposed to be getting their hair done i have to go to the hair store and get them some beads it's just a lot that i have to do but before i do all those things i have to get my home together i have literally abandoned this pile of laundry over here for almost a month like uh, we've literally just been digging through it Quan has been fussing like we have to get back organized and i'm like yeah you're right <laughs> so i figured today i would try to get done as much laundry organize this laundry so that Quan can have all his things organized and in a nice place and me as well but mainly him because he goes to work every day he doesn't want to dig through this mountain of clothes which i totally understand so i'm gonna definitely try to get this organized i went to walmart last night to get like a stand to put like one of those little clear storage drawers to put things in to make our closet a little more neater and then i got some more hangers so in today's video we're going to just be getting things done okay i am glad that i am done with the homeschool lesson for today so now i can kind of focus on getting the house together for the rest of this afternoon and i figure i'll bring you guys along with because i haven't vlogged in a few weeks days i don't know but we're vlogging today and i hope you guys enjoy whatever it is i show in today's video love you guys and stay tuned for the chaos also just want to document the fact that i made my bed this morning and i literally haven't done that in like a month so i love that for me i did pick up some hangers like i told you guys from walmart last night and then i picked up this clear little storage stand to hopefully be able to store more of Quan's clothes because this little thing right here ain't doing enough for our clothes okay i also probably need to declutter some of our clothes as well but for now we're going to get everything all organized i'm gonna put everything on my bed and then we're gonna start going through all of it i am not proud of this by no means but it is all clean in my defense and we're gonna fold it and get it organized so let's do it
y'all. So I have completely finished getting all of the clothes from over there. I have to fix this at some point, but not worried about it right now. I'm just happy that all of those clothes are away from over there. Kamari is napping, which is also great. Shout out to Charlie. She put him to sleep. The closet is kind of cluttered. It's a smaller closet, but it is organized for the most part. And I am not mad about it. Way cleaner than what it was. I got rid of a lot of clothes and I was able to hang up and organize mostly everything in the closet. So I just wanted to show you guys what all I did. And I think it turned out great. Okay, y'all, so we decided to bring the kids to the park this afternoon so that they could play, get their energy out. They did so good while I was organizing our closet and getting those clothes together. So we are treating them to a little afternoon at the park. And this is a really nice park, y'all. It's so pretty outside. There's a baseball game going on, but the sky is so beautiful. But this is one of the best parks we come to because it's literally like every child's dream look at how nice this park is so nice right here i know we never do it's usually packed with all the parents right here so i guess we get to enjoy this today but this park is so stinking cute
Okay, y'all, so it is the night before Noble's fourth birthday. And I am up. It's like 11 o'clock, y'all. I'll probably hear the boys. The boys be up late. But tomorrow is Friday the 13th. And I can't believe my baby is going to be four years old tomorrow. I am so emotional, y'all. Like, I am extremely emotional tonight. So I'm not even going to show my face because I'm a hot mess, okay? So I am going to put together this little, what is it, like a haunted house that you can color i did one of these with the kids for christmas and they really enjoyed it so i figured we would do this set this up for noble's birthday and then probably like add some blooms and some other fun stuff like put her gifts and stuff around it and then this will give them something to do tomorrow just to like color this and you know keep them busy so i figured i would set this up with you guys since i'm up late and all alone so let's set this bad baby up and get ready for my baby's fourth birthday tomorrow Are you excited? <laughs> no, you don't have to put that up there, baby. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning, my princess. I knew you like that more than anything. Noble? Where do you go, Noble? Noble? She's right there. She's looking at the room. <laughs> I love my novel. Are you excited? Today is her birthday, mommy. You want to open up your gifts now? My baby's the last birthday of the year. <coughs> I had to sit up all night. That took me forever, noble, to build that. I'm so tired. Yeah. It got backs on it now, but look. Watch out, baby. What is that? Is that what you wanted? You got another one. Look. Open that one up. Open that up. Let's see what's in there. Can you bring that to mommy? Yeah, you want to see what's in here? He's off, yes? Yeah? What is it? A family. <laughs> yeah. That's you. Daddy Let me see. Daddy Wow, Neville. You got a strap foot on you to put your strap on it? Yay. You happy? Are you happy, Neville? <laughs> what you gonna watch on there? No rainbow friends? You go watch this. No, I, I love you, my double. Happy birthday. You want to go to the park? Yeah, let's go. Are
Okay, loungers, so it is Saturday, the day before Noble's birthday party, which is tomorrow. We're having it on Sunday because Quan is off work on Sundays and it's just easier. So we're having her a Halloween party and you guys know I love Halloween. I really feel like this party is for both of us. So we're just gonna roll with the fact that it's for both of us, okay? But it is the day before, like I said, and I have to turn this basement into a spooky Halloween party venue, okay? It's just me. So I'm going to try to film as much as I can. My tripod is actually broken thanks to my toddler. Um, but I do plan on getting one this afternoon. So I'll see if I can feel me doing that other stuff later that I have to do because I do have to run out and get some things. But I'm just gonna walk you guys through the process. I just got done mopping the floor. So you guys see that the floor is kind of wet. I just wanted to make sure it was Cloroxed and cleaned and all that good stuff because Salem plays down here with the kids sometimes. And I just wanted to make sure it was nice and clean. For the most part, I didn't have to do nothing else because the basement has already been cleaned up. But I am going to be trying to make it look a little bit better. Starting off with the walls, I'm gonna go around and put black tablecloths on the walls to give it that dark, spooky vibe that I want. So I bought just regular dollar store tablecloths and some push pins, which is exactly what we did at Quan Sister Baby Shower. If you watched that video, we took pink tablecloths and just push pin them to the ceiling and it just made it look like a clean wall. So that's what I'm gonna do first. And then once I am done, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. But yeah, so I'm not gonna be able to film me actually doing it, but I'm gonna show you guys once I get done what it looks like. Not only that, I'm gonna try to finish all of this laundry, but I'm gonna be putting one to cover up that stuff and then that corner as well, you guys will see. But for right now, I just wanna show you guys what it looks like before I even do anything. She has potential, but she ain't there yet, okay? So I'm gonna put all of, I don't have, I already know I don't have enough black tablecloths right now, so I'm gonna put up as many as I can. I'm gonna try to do that wall right there, and then I'm gonna work on this wall. We'll see how far I get with the amount that I have, and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys what it looks like. So we are just going to take these little tablecloths that I got from the Dollar Tree, and we're gonna make this entire wall into a black wall. So I put the tablecloths up. I still need to get lots more. Um, I only had five. So I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree and get more, but I just wanted to show you guys how good this looks. Like it looks so good. I can't wait to do the entire basement and just make it nice and dark in here and spooky. But right now I'm about to make some little cute little ghost balloons. I got some, Got plenty of balloons over here somewhere in one of these bags but i'm about to make some ghost balloons and i'm gonna show you guys how cute they turn out okay y'all so i ended up going to the store the night before the party this is actually the day of the party that i was filming my sister got this footage for me because that's how busy i was i wasn't even able to get footage from me setting it up all the way even to doing the decorating um i was just running behind i was panicking the day of just trying to figure out how i was gonna cook finish decorating because i ended up going to sleep the night before the night before um so i didn't finish decorating i had to do all of that the day of but everything turned out perfect my cousin came over she cooked the food for me um Kwan sister made a dish for me as well my sister came she finished helping decorating Kwan was deep cleaning upstairs while i was downstairs focusing on getting those last minute things done and it was just everything turned out so perfect we were surrounded by so much love my sister came with my nieces and nephews i have not seen them in so some months like it's been a little minute so it was exciting to just see them and how big they've gotten so the kids basically we did like a pumpkin patch Quan came up with the idea to put the pumpkins in the garden and just let them pick out their own pumpkins and that was like literally the best idea ever y'all they were so cute going out there picking out the pumpkin and just coming up and showing me how proud they were of the pumpkin that they chose and I decided that I wanted to paint pumpkins I definitely wanted to do it with the kids and I said well it would be so much fun to do it for Noble's birthday so once everybody picked out their pumpkin they brought them inside and they were able to paint them and it was just so cute to just see them just talking and painting like the amount of kids that came made my heart so happy and honestly 
I was able to catch up with an old friend from high school and her babies are so beautiful and they're growing up so fast. My cousin and like I said, my sister, Quan's sister ended up having her baby last month and she brought her and she's even dressed up so cute. And yeah, it was just some really good energy and seeing them just paint and just in their little costumes, like I couldn't, like my heart couldn't take it. But my sister ended up dressing up as well. Like she was 100% in character, so Laura and Nature's mom and Nature, honey, actually won best costume because his little costume made my heart explode. Like he was just the cutest little gnome I ever seen like I could not even the little suit fit him so perfect like it was like the perfect costume for him look at him he was just looking he was walking around he was in it I ended up doing a sensory table for the little ones because I wanted them to be involved as well and when I say I outdid myself y'all I outdid my I outdid myself I did not expect it to look that good because it was just me decorating my sister told me to call her, but I did not call her, y'all. I tried to put it together by myself, and Quan was watching the kids, and I was trying to just get it done. And like I said, for it to just have been me decorating, I did the thing, y'all. I did the thing. I did want to cover up that back wall behind the kids, but I didn't get to it, and I just didn't even want to beat myself up about it. But yeah, and I'm trying to do this voiceover, and y'all hear my kids in the background, but... The party turned out great, y'all. I'm gonna just let you guys enjoy the rest of this party because we did a lot of fun stuff and I just can't wait for you guys to see. So enjoy. It's like we're running in circles Going around every day Getting stuck in the hurdles Of yesterday Don't you want to go further Away from the fray Let's not get stuck in our worries We'll make our way Won't you come outside Where the sunflowers bloom Breathe in the air Look up to the moon I'll meet you outside
Yeah. <laughs> 